In our first lesson here, we're going to be starting by looking at some basic drawing tools inside of Flash and seeing how um, they can work for you. And as you can see, I've got here highlighted the rectangle tool. In order to understand that a little bit better, what we're going to be doing is making a few drawings first and foremost. What I can show you here is that down at the bottom, there is a icon for fill color and an icon for stroke color, as you can see here. Uh, currently, there is no stroke color, so let's put one in. Just by pressing down on this file, what you'll see is that you have a, um, a bunch of grids of different colors that you can choose from. I'll keep this black, and I'll press on this one and choose something like red so you can see it. So I've changed the fill and the stroke color before I've actually done any drawing. And at this point, what we're going to do is to use the rectangle tool to make a rectangle. So as you can see, I can click and drag, and it makes a rectangle. If you want to make it a square, just hold Shift, and it will constrain the proportions of this object so you always get a perfect square. As you can see, these objects are drawn with the defaulted one pixel stroke, which is black in this case, which I chose and the fill color is the inside color. So in other words, we have a red fill, black stroke. So that is a little bit about the basics of drawing in this fashion. If you hold down on this uh, drawing tool, you can also choose from there the oval shape tool. And as you can see, I can draw an oval, or if I hold shift, I can make a perfect circle as well. Um, some other things that you should be aware of is that down here there is a another icon called an object drawing icon. And if we were to click on this, uh, you would notice that when you draw your icons, they actually, or excuse me, when you draw your shapes, they actually um, have a blue bounding box around them. Well, that's just telling you that this particular shape that I've drawn as an object drawing is now a grouped element. And as you'll see when we talk about the selection tool in just a second, um, you'll notice that when you have an object drawing, grouped drawing, they will react in a different fashion than some of the other types of drawings that we will create, the ones that are not object drawings. So let's continue with that in our next lesson.